think for one thing, not only the whole MVP thing with LeBron, but just the big three, and 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 we know the outside can kind of really get lost in that. And, and yeah, we do have some big performances, but this is a team. It uh, it's a, it's always a team effort. It takes everybody, and we have a lot of talented guys that are ready to step up at a moment's notice. And <clears throat> you know, we we kept telling Rio he was about overdue for a great game, and. You know, just to be able to have those guys uh, to lean on for, for support when it's time, especially in big moments like this, I think it's huge. I mean, you know, I have to tip my hat to Rio. He gets the game ball today. And that's all we focus on is the next game. Uh, we always say it, and I'm sure Spo has said it 100,000 times, uh, is staying in the moment. And that's what you always have to do. You have to stay in the moment, put everything uh, to, in the past behind you, don't worry about the future. Just execute what you're supposed to execute at that time. And, you know, the family environment here, we felt this since day one, uh, since the first day we, day we came together. Um, this is one of the biggest families, uh, if not the biggest in the NBA, and they really make you feel that uh, when you come here. So it's really uh, spilled over into our toughness, our togetherness, and, you know, we've been through a lot together. And... You know, that's what the journey is about. So we have to continue to uh, get better until the season's over. You know, we were the ones who had the lead last year, and, and we couldn't capitalize. Uh, we had big leads in the fourth quarter last year. And um, that was the biggest lesson for us because we really learned that we have to play through it till the end. And I know a lot of times, you know, with LeBron going down or somebody going down, it, it can always look bad, but those are the things you have to fight through. Um, you know, this game four was huge for us because we were up 2-1 last year at home. You know, there's a little bit more added pressure against a very uh, hungry team, and we were able to overcome that. So uh, we just have to continue to uh, meet the challenges and beat them. Um, that's what being in this uh, finals is about, giving everything that you have until you can't walk anymore. And... Um, I think he did a, a, a fantastic job tonight fighting through it, but that's how we knew we were going to feel um, beating these guys. We knew that we weren't going to have anything left in the tank, and, and it's kind of ironic because he was the main guy that said it. If you, you should be totally exhausted after this game, and um, you know, just for him to set the example, that was huge for us. You know, we're thinking about Game Five right now. Um, just uh, we keep the same mindset that we've always kept uh, throughout the season. We take it one one possession, uh, one quarter, one game at a time, and um, you know we have to put everything together. Um, we we know it's not over until it's over, so we have to uh, finish the job that we started. It's going to be another very very tough game uh, uh, on Thursday, and you know if we're going to win it, we have to earn it. Um, you know, this team, you know, we had to go through something, you know, to get to the point, you know, that we are resilient. And, um, you know, that's going through a heartbreaking um, loss in the finals last year. And, um, you know, really having to go back and, and gut check ourselves. Uh, but, you know, you got to crawl before you walk. And, um, you know, that's what we did. So, you know, right now we feel that any, any game we're playing, no matter what the score is, no matter what the situation is, no matter who's on the floor, we're confident enough that, you know, we can win the ball game. Um, obviously, we got to put in the work. We got to do a lot of things to do that. But um, that's the confidence that this team has. You know, Mario Thomas was huge. Mario Thomas was big tonight um, for us. Um, and he just took, that's a total, total group effort. I mean, LeBron was, you know, he was hurting, but he still came back in and made that three hit was huge. Um, getting to the foul line was big. Um, and he wasn't, and he was hurting, you know, but that's what it's about this time of the year. Um, it hurt more if you if we get if we lose the ball game. So it feel a little better uh, when you can win it. So this was a this was a battle, man. And uh, OKC played amazing. I mean, obviously Durant and and uh, Westbrook was phenomenal tonight. Uh, but you know, our will, you know, just, just pulled us through, and uh, we made enough plays to win the ball game. You know, that's that's the reason that we all came here together. And I'm not just talking about Chris, LeBron, and myself. I'm talking about Shane Battier. Um, talking about Mike Miller. Some of all these guys, that's the reason we all wanted to play together um, because we know how hard it is. It's very hard in this league to win, to win it all. And, um, you know, you got to have guys that on even, any given night 
that can carry, you know, what you call your own weight um, and, and nights that you got to do it together. So, um, you know, it's very important. It's very big. Obviously, LeBron James is one of the most dominant players in the game, and he explodes many nights scoring-wise. Um, but, you know, we always got his back. And certain nights like tonight when he wasn't feeling his greatest, um, you have guys like Mario Chalmers step up. Um, you know, big plays, big moments. So that's what this team is built on, um, and that's the reason we're playing together. It's not easy, you know, for, for most people to come in and, you know, whatever um, role that they're supposed to be in, to not have that role. I mean, most, a lot of times Mario Chalmers don't bring the ball up, you know, and he's a point guard. Um, and then there's other times where we depend on him to do it so much and we want him to make plays for us. And I'm sure it's, you know, it's confusing at times. He's out of rhythm a lot. Uh, but you know what? He's a big game kind of player, you know, that when he, we got drafted here, we knew that he was a big game player. And, uh, yeah, paying a little homage to Dwayne Wayne tonight, yeah. Um, you know, when you're down that much, you're like, okay, let's just chip this thing back. Let's chip it back. And we came out, and uh, big ups and a lot of credit to Norris Cole for coming in uh, with the new haircut. Uh, playing very well, hitting two big threes for us. You know, to be a rookie to come in when we needed something, and uh, he came through big for us. Yeah. At this time, man, it's going to be some back and forth. You know, we've seen it, uh, especially for the last three games. Um, it's just about at the end who makes the most plays. So, you know, as long as it's time on the clock for this team, you know, we always feel that we can, you know, we have a chance. And, um, you know, we know we got to go down and execute, but we also know we got to come down and we got to get stops. I mean, you know, it's a tough team, you know, to get stops on. You know, you just got to continue to keep wearing on them, wearing on them, and they're going to miss one. And hopefully when they miss one, we can capitalize on that and get our run going. And I think that's what we was able to do. It's a big-time team win. Uh, we needed everyone's effort, um, and everyone came up and made a play, um, you know. From you know the starters to Rio, spectacular game, um, you know to Norris as well. You know when we was down in that first quarter, Norris came in and gave us a spark, uh, hit a couple threes. Um, you know got to the lane, got a layup. You know and, and made some plays. You know to kind of help us get in, in, into a rhythm. And uh, you know it's, it's a big time team win. And uh, we needed every we needed every point, we needed every rebound and everything that everyone had uh, to get it. Feeling a lot better. Um, you know, I'm feeling good. Uh, so, you know, see how I do feel tomorrow, too. What did it feel like? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, you have to play sports and got a cramp before to understand the feeling. I don't, I mean, you know, it's basically like your body just shut down, your legs just shut down on you. There's nothing really you can do about it. Well, I mean, the ball was swung to me, and, uh, you know, the shot clock was going down, and I, you know, I just wanted to step up and try to make a play, you know, uh, you know, and I was able to drain that three and, uh, you know, give us a give us a lift. I was just trying to make a play. You know, any, if I was out on the floor, I wanted to try to make a play with uh, the limited mobility I had at that time. And I was happy I was able to come through. We're a complete team, you know, and, uh, you know, a lot of people don't understand that about our team. And they always just, you know, focus on myself or, you know, D Wade and CB. But um, everyone's effort and every, you know, all the hard work everyone puts into it makes us a complete team. And, you know, we need, we need that perform, performance from everyone. You know, we understand that myself and, and D-Wade and the CB get a lot of the press, but, you know, without, you know, the sacrifices and, you know, all the commitment from our other guys, uh, we wouldn't be in this position. We come out with the mindset, like we've come out, you know, throughout the playoffs, we're going to give ourselves a good chance to win, and that's all we can ask for. You know, in between now and, and, and game five, it just, you know, just trying to rehydrate. You know, you, I lost a lot tonight, um, but I will be, I'll be ready. I'll be ready for game five, and <clears throat> hopefully I can stay hydrated where it doesn't happen again. Collison has come in from Oklahoma City. Durant, the drive and finish. And long stride. It looks like he's far away from the basket, and all of a sudden his head is at the rim. And that's how he got a couple of threes in the last game. South Beach. Kevin Durant, 34 points per in his first two NBA Finals games. LeBron James on a streak of five straight 30-plus games, and James with a layup there, heat up by four. That's championship basketball right there. The ball doesn't touch the floor. Moving the ball, get the easy basket. I actually thought Oklahoma City got off to a better start. Yeah, better. Yeah, but they, I mean, listen, 
you got to understand something. I, and I hate to harp on it. They're a jump shooting team. Jump shooters are always streaky. They got to find a way to speed the tempo of the game up. Mike Miller. Mike Miller there for the putback, struggling through that that back injury. Six minutes for him, four points. So oh, oh, my goodness. Good production. That jump stop? Uh, jump yeah. stop. Ten of his first oh. 12 points were in the paint tonight. Well, LeBron, he's been really aggressive. I think sometimes he falls in love with the jumper. But when he – nobody can guard the guy. When he's really aggressive, that's when he's obviously at his best. They were up by six after the first quarter, so that makes him plus 25 in the first quarters of this series so far. Harden drives to the paint. Foul and the runner. And then Westbrook oh. kicks it out to Derek Fisher. Long Mr. two. Mr. Big shot. Bap, bap. You know, but you, should you, have been a three. Yeah, but you still look at this. To be honest with you, was it? Should it have been a three? Oh yeah, you behind. Oh the yeah, line. it should have been a three. Yes. Okay, yes. see. Would then take a lead on Kendrick Perkins' free throws, their first first half lead of this series. As Wade goes baseline, never touched by Harden. <laughs> There's a foul called. He was just 5 of 15 <laughs> in the first half. Second quarter, Kevin Durant, the three right over LeBron James. That's such a tough shot. Yeah, well, it was, he's just a great shooter. But this is, you still look at this. They're not going to win many games when it's 39 38. You know, that's just too low scoring of a game because. That, that shot he hit, that's still a, you're not going to make, you're not going to make a lot of those. That's just my point right there. You're not going to make a lot of screens like that. He but didn't it, transition on that miss. Ooh. LeBron and one. He had 16 and eight at the half. He Crazy by three. foul by Durant. Crazy foul. Yeah, yeah Durant, he's he got a couple of little kissy fouls, I call them. This guy's right here is on fire. Shane Battier came out hot again. Only took two shots all night. Both of them dropped. Both were threes. You know, Russell Westbrook, he's got to speed the tempo up. I know a lot of people don't like it, but listen, that's their best offense when they get in the open court. That helps Cephalosius. That helps Ibaka. Durant came out kind of hot in the third quarter before he picked up his fourth foul and had to sit for a while as Tabo Cephalosia converts on the alley-oop. An 8-2 run for OKC. Put him up by three. Cephalosia, no. Durant, the yes. stick back. And when you're a road team and you're playing this well and somebody else is building, you got to keep your foot on the gas pedal. James kicking it to Battier. Fouled and no. hit three free throws. Yeah, but that's just Jeez. stupid. Stop fouling the jump shoot, especially on three. Well, the crazy thing was that happened. He converted all three. And 22 seconds later, they do it again. Come on, D. No, no. Fish, you know better than yeah. that. Listen, that's like basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Don't foul the jump shooter. So six I points in 22 seconds on no buckets by Miami. Wade to James. He knocks down a three. That was one of just four made field goals by the Heat in that third quarter. Only three he hit on the night in four tries. In transition, James Harden up top. You know, you know, it, this is like I said, it's not bad. This is not rocket science. When they get in the open court, they're obviously a much better team. It's hard for anybody to score in a half court set on, on a really good NBA defensive team. There goes that man. You know, I'd be curious to look at Kevin Durant's fouls this year and see how many of them have been like good fouls. Probably one. <laughs> He's getting gotten into foul trouble the last two games. Yeah, but you, James you know, sometimes you get in foul trouble for a reason. Those right. fouls he was getting are not this. He shouldn't get those fouls. Tough layup by James. That put Miami up by seven. And time running out on OKC. But Tabo Cephalosha picks Great. Dwayne oh, Wade. Oh, scores got on the lucky. other end. It wasn't a three-point play. Suddenly they're within three. Westbrook hits the jumper. Only took 18 shots tonight. They're within one. <laughs> it's funny. Only eight. Well, people have been complaining about a shot total <laughs> under a minute to go in the game. This was just a stupid play right here by James Harden. That's I like not a James foul Harden. by James, though. Yeah, yeah, but let me tell you Look. something. You, he shouldn't even be guarding LeBron that close because they had to, it was only 10 seconds to go in the shot clock. Was it a foul or not? That's debatable. But in that situation, you don't even put yourself in that situation. James hit one of two, so it's a four point game. Thunderball, Cephalosha with the inbound. It's a turnover, and Miami was able to hang on. It's nice, Kevin Durant. No, winner, she winner said, lose. She said, "Yeah, but she should be saying, son, don't commit those stupid fouls anymore." <laughs> really? Yeah. Right yes. after the game, that's right what she should say. That's what you they got to always the listen. Game. You got to leave. You, Matt, you can't help. Son, you. I love you, but stop fouling. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, it's just silly fouls because you can't help your team sitting on the bench.
Drives on Battier, throws it down! Kevin Durant, and it's an eight-point game. Timeout Miami. In transition, when most people come down, Kevin Durant keeps extending and finishes with a beautiful dunk. Game two of the finals between the Heat and Thunder cut. Daily Zap style for you on a Thursday night. Russell Westbrook and the Thunder at home. They won game one, game two. Another struggle early for the Thunder. The Heat got out to a quick lead, a 25-10 lead. Dwayne Wade getting it done, and they need his scoring punch. LeBron James, how'd he do? How do you think he did? LeBron, the MVP again, 32 points. Five consecutive games of 30 or more, but Serge Ibaka rocks him at the rim and gives you a little Dikembe flavor as well. James Harden, terrific in this game. Had just five in game one, but came up with big numbers for the Thunder and Kevin Durant. How in the world does he make that happen? We know how he makes this happen. He's got a terrific shot for a big man outside. He's the three-point champ. And Kevin Durant and the Thunder came roaring back in this game. Durant one more time missing. But look at the point guard, Russell Westbrook, somehow to get the offensive rebound. Down the stretch, though, is he clutch? Is he clutch? Is he clutch? Yeah, he's clutch. LeBron gets it done. The Heat win. And that's your Daily Z.